Hi everyone, I am Swati Gupta, a PhD student from the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, India. I have created a database called Interpin that identifies intrinsic transcription terminators in bacteria. The process of transcription is responsible for the formation of RNA from DNA. It occurs in three steps, initiation, elongation and termination. All these three are important regulatory mechanisms in the cell cycle. The process of transcription termination is regulated in two ways. Intrinsic termination where the forming RNA folds into secondary structures called hairpins while the other is rho dependent termination where a protein called rho forms hexameric units to stall the movement of RNA polymerase. I'll be focusing on intrinsic termination in my talk. Many computational methods have looked for canonical hairpin features to identify intrinsic transcription terminators. These features include a stem region which is rich in GC inverted repeats and a loop which is formed by non-hydrogen bonding residues. These two are accompanied by a polyuracil tract downstream of the hairpin in its 3' end. We hypothesize that instead of the presence of a single hairpin, it is possible to find weaker smaller hairpins which lie within 15 base pair from each other and work in tandem to cause transcription termination, uh, transcription termination. We call these cluster hairpins. The interpin database consists of predictions of intrinsic transcription terminators from around 13,000 bacterial genomes obtained from NCBI. The list of the phyla is given in this table and the corresponding frequency of bacteria in each phyla has also been presented. So this is the home page for interpin database which provides a summary of the process of intrinsic transcription termination and the predicted hairpin in 13,000 bacteria. Also the GitHub link is given. In the help page, you can find a detailed analysis of the features available in the database as well as how to interpret the results with the help of examples. Then going on to the phyla, it lists the phyla present in the database along with a phylogenetic tree showing the relationship between them. Every phyla tab gives the list of bacteria in that phyla and on clicking any of the bacteria, it takes you to the prediction page. Each prediction page has a summary table which lists the summary of the bacteria, its name, phyla, the genome size, and the predictions, whether they were single or cluster. On the right, you can see a pie chart that shows the distribution of the distances of hairpins from the stop codon. The closer a hairpin is from the stop codon shows its uh, termination efficiency. Then the raw data for the prediction has been given where we list the strand on which the prediction was made, the operon start end, hairpin start end and the associated hairpin energy. The hairpin type has also been given which can be cluster or single. In case it's a cluster hairpin, we give the constituent number of single hairpins in that cluster. This can be easily downloaded in a CSV format. We have integrated the IGV viewer for providing the users the facility to view a genomic view of the predictions. So uh, here we give a track for the predicted hairpins on forward and reverse trend and same for predicted operons. So these have been color coded with different colors the annotation of genes has simply been taken from NCBI. The users can zoom into the required region and see the predictions. On selecting any of the hairpin predictions, you can see the selected hairpins on the left hand side. To view the tertiary and secondary structures, you can simply click on this selected hairpin and it takes you to a new page where you can see the pre-computed secondary structure along with the dot bracket notation of the hairpin selected, the sequence and its coordinates. 
Now to view the 3D model of the hairpin, we have integrated RNA Composer into our database. Here we preload the sequence and the secondary structure for the users and the RNA Composer computes a 3D model for the hairpin which is displayed and can be viewed on the web server itself. There is also an option of downloading the PDB structure and it can be viewed later with the help of PyMall, Chimera or another feature that we have integrated called the ICN3D program. Thank you. Do you have any questions?